everyone. So I'm going to do a video showing you guys my stockpile throughout my house. It's not all stored in one big room, but it's uh, kind of wherever I have space. We don't have a lot of storage space. So um, just to show you guys what you will be able to do within a few months of couponing. I've only been doing this for about four months, not even three and a half months, and we've been able to get up a pretty good little stockpile. So most of these items were free or really, really cheap, um, and we've been able to store up a good amount to provide for ourselves and to give away and donate and everything else. So anyways, I'm going to start here in my dining room area just to show you guys all of my extra bottles of vitamins that I got for free and the reason I got so many I actually had a hundred uh, over a hundred because they were all free and there was overage a dollar each per bottle so I got that and I, when I got the hundred in one shot the overage the hundred dollars in overage actually paid for the rest of my groceries so on that deal I got over four hundred about four hundred and sixty dollars worth of vitamins and other items and I paid two dollars and fourteen cents I don't have a video on that I wish I did but that was awesome so anyways I got all of these little um, Happy Melts, their baby yogurt snacks. These were all free. Um, and then here's my deep freezer. We have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of, well, we have dips and Philadelphia cooking creams. These are on sale right now for two for four dollars, and I have some one dollar and fifty cent off coupons, making them two for a dollar. And they're really good and cream cheese and these items tend to freeze well some cheese dipping sauces and all that stuff <clears throat> we have a lot of frozen vegetables if you guys can see this here see there's like a lot probably like over 20 and more on the bottom those they're all there these big jugs down there our um, margarita mixes <laughs> though we don't drink I use them to make juice I just dilute it and put some <coughs> sugar and stuff sorry for the noise here's my tiny little pantry I mean it's nothing spectacular but using coupons have been able to there was actually two more of these here that's what I made for dinner tonight it was a quick and simple dinner some mac and cheese I think I got these for like 13 or cents a pack 25 cents a pack something like that and they're normally like three or four dollars each so that was an awesome deal here's some more items you know nothing spectacular i mean it's much better than what we used to have in here which was absolutely nothing <laughs> so under here we have some granola chewy bars and pop tarts and rice and back there we have some brownie mixes and there's actually more brownie mixes here um <clears throat> so now i'm gonna show you guys my um under the sink area and on this side we have a bunch of cereal some aluminum foil i actually had like seven or eight of these but i'm using one and then i gave a bunch away too um <clears throat> It's not wanting to stand. So the reason these aren't in a box is because there was a mail-in rebate thing on it. So it said limit two. So I actually cut up the box because I needed the UPC code, which is the bar, the barcode like that on the bottom. And on the inside of the box was the mail-in rebate form. So I had to actually cut up the box to do the mail-in rebate. And there's a bunch of um, Quakers, oatmeal, and more cereal. Let's see, so we do eat a lot of cereal here. I love cereal. I have a bunch of napkins here, and it's dark in here. This is under the cabinet. A bunch of napkins. There's 
a, a lot. Two full bags full of napkins. There's one on the bottom and then that one. And I got those for like 12 cents a package and they're normally like three or four dollars per package. So right there are some, if you can see, paper towels. Those are super cheap. I didn't have coupons or anything, but they were a good deal without coupons. So, yeah, I do shop without coupons occasionally. <laughs> it's rare. I'm um, trying to get some light. Those right there are some pine saws. And I'm going to do a uh, view it in from the other side of the cabinet. Maybe I'll get more light. So, this side. See, this is my cleaning under the sink cabinet. These are all the items that are not in use. So new gloves, because mine just broke. These are new, but I just opened them. A bunch of Dawn Olay dish soaps, and some more right there. I love these Lysol wipes. They're awesome. I also love these Magic Erasers. And this is an awesome deal right now at CVS and at Walgreens, where if you buy $10 or more, you get a $3 extra care book or register reward depending on the store so I stocked up and I'm actually gonna go back and get two more and I have a bunch of Lysol spray cleaners and oops that one's almost empty that's not a Lysol though. that's a Windex oh here's the Lysol so a bunch of stuff in there and um, these big like Lysol refill ones I probably won't pour it into a bottle. I'll just probably use those for mopping or something after the pine saw is done. So now I'm going to show you guys on top of my fridge where we have a bunch of, not a bunch, but these big bag of chips. We actually had eight big bags of those. I gave away um, quite a few to my mother-in-law. I won them in a, for a Super Bowl uh, Super Bowl party pack or something on the Facebook page of um, on the off the border or on the border or something because that's the brand so those were all free and my laundry closet I have a bunch of um, laundry detergent Purex I have this I got in the mail as it's a sample I haven't tried it yet obviously I got these Purex 3-in-1. I had four packs. I used one full one and one is actually in use. I got these Purex Crystals fabric softeners for free using a Target, Target coupon and manufacturer coupons at Target. Those, so all four of those were free. I also got these Tide Stain Release. These are awesome. I love them. You only use a little bit and it gets the, <clears throat> the stain right out. So those are really good. I have some more laundry detergent on the top. These ones that are on the center are actually the ones in use. That one's almost empty. And I have some, see this one's in use. This Purex and the stain release is in use. So on the top I have a few extras. These two are Purex and these two are actually before I started couponing. They're the extra name brand or the extra brand or whatever. The cheapy brand. So, um, <clears throat> let me take you guys into my boy's bathroom. Say hi. My fishies. Take you guys into my boy's bathroom or guest bathroom or however you want to. Yeah, see, they can't keep anything clean the way I leave it. Anyways, under here I have my extra bathroom cleaners. Not that much because um, I mostly use the magic erasers for in here because they're awesome. So this is where I keep my, um, the ones in use, the Lysol mold and mildew and all of that. That's all in use. <coughs> Sorry. Then on this side, <coughs> I... <coughs> How <clears throat> all of my um, baby's shampoos, two-in-one shampoo, the swabs, those are super cheap. I don't know how much I paid for them, though, but I have five there and one in use. I have a bunch of ivory soap. 
Hmm, sorry. So I have, um, let me count them. Two, five. <laughs> so five that are loose, and then I have six, seven packets of three bars. So that's 21 plus five is 26. 26 bars of ivory soap, which, yes. That's my husband. He doesn't want to be posted on YouTube, guys. I'm going to post him again. Look how cute. <laughs> oh, the baby's not too bad. Oh, you're too much. Talking about look how cute. I know, and the baby's not too bad himself. <laughs> That's my husband for you guys. He's crazy. Anyway, so a bunch of ivory soap for the kids. I like those for the kids because they don't have dyes and you know extra like scents and all that but whatever they don't need body wash they're just kids they can use the bar soap and all their little extra toothbrushes which i actually have rain checks from cvs to get more probably about 12 more because i still have coupons that aren't expired and rain checks this i got from walmart for probably like 25 cents before these went on sale for a dollar each at CVS and I had a dollar off coupons making all of them free and I actually got a lot more than the ones that I have here because but I gave some away and I have rain checks for these as well so I'm gonna get more of these I think like 12 more also so and actually I think the coupons for these don't expire until the end of the year I'll have to double check that <clears throat> so guys get up I'm gonna have to do this is me this is my boys bathroom <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do a part two video on my um, stockpile to show you guys my master bedroom closet because I've reached my time limit and to show you guys um, what I have uh, is that the only place yeah well my master bedroom closet and that's where I have most of our items together um so stay tuned for part two leave any questions or comments you have on the below bottom comment section and i'll do my best to get back at you guys good night